And police are now on a desperate search, not only for a man wanted for questioning in a homicide, but for a missing couple as well. Now they're looking for Richard and Gladys Russell of rural Logan County. Police discovered the couple's missing while looking for Sammy Littleton. He's wanted for questioning in the homicide of Tiffany Brown. The body of the 26-year-old missing mom was found in her mother's basement. Police are looking for the couple's green 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis with license plate number PDG-13E. They caution if you see it, do not approach it. Call 911 immediately and let the police take it from there. And we do have some new details to share with you in this investigation from overnight. Jordan Burgess is tracking the latest updates in this case. It is this morning's top story. In this case are just unbelievable, but we are getting some more answers for you this morning about how that now missing elderly couple is connected to Samuel Littleton, the man police want to talk to about Tiffany Brown's death. Now this is video of police searching the home of Richard and Gladys Russell off County Road 91 in Logan County just last night. Now we haven't been told by officers whether any evidence was found there that would help them figure out what happened to the couple. Again, the Russells have been missing since Wednesday, the same day Tiffany Brown's body was discovered and Samuel Littleton disappeared. And we've learned in the last few hours that records show the home owned by Littleton where Brown's body was found used to be owned by the Russells. So it is likely that Littleton knew the Russells. Now police think that finding out what happened to the Russells could in fact lead them to Littleton. And just to let you know again, the Russells car is described as a green 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis with license plate PDG-1. 3E. If you see it, you're asked to call police at 599-1010. And again, don't approach it. And police are worried that it could be dangerous if you were to approach that car. For now, reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.